Paul here with another video. Today we're going to be looking at two apps to remote into your server. One of them is called Termius and the other one is called Blink. Blink has a one-time payment and you're done. Meanwhile, Termius has a freemium model that allows you to do a limited amount for free and unlocking some bonus features if you decide to pay a monthly subscription. Starting out with Termius, you'll find out you can create a new host, but before we do that, let's go ahead and create a keychain. So you create a new identity, we'll go demo, username root, instead of a password, we're gonna generate a key. Name of the key will be demo. And just like that, you have a new identity saved and a new key saved. From this key, we can copy the public key and we're gonna go ahead and use Blink. I have remoted into the server that we're going to add this public key into, and just like that, we add it. Now we're gonna set up a new host, alias demo, host, port, username, root, password, pass on that. So we attach the demo key to this account. The beauty of this is you can assign a custom theme. So we'll just use this one for now. And we have created our host. And voila, we have set up a username, a key, and remoted into the server. If you want to back out, you'll see the arrow all the way to the left. And you have that one connection there. You also have the ability for Alt, Tab, and all these keys, as well as the option for other keys, which is a nifty feature. Now, a problem that I always have is if you tap on a blank portion of the screen, it toggles the keyboard on and off, which I find to be more annoying than actually useful. Now, with the premium version, which is, I uh, believe, $9.99 per month, you unlock um, cross-device sync, SFTP, background sessions, as well as snippets and terminal tabs, to name a few. So I've actually already created a demo, so I'm going to log in. Now that we're logged in, you notice a few additional options were enabled like SFTP. You'll see that you're really limited with the local files that you have access to. So as far as this app being a SFTP client for me, it really doesn't scratch the itch, but it is relatively simple drag and drop. So for your use, it might actually be okay. Another interesting feature with Termius that I could see myself actually using are snippets. So with this one as a simple way of doing this, we will do update and for the script. And you can choose to close the sessions after running or keep them open. In this case, we'll keep them open. And this is where it gets interesting. You can actually select a few different servers at the same time. So we just selected two here, actually. Two. Eh, we'll make it two and save this snippet. Now, just by clicking on this, you can run update on two servers. Now, while it's running these commands, you will actually see the windows 
change as they do get updated, which is really nice. Now that we updated and opened one of the windows, you can see that we have a few tabs open, which is another paid feature of Termius. That brings us to the end of this app. There's a lot of useful features, both in the free version and the paid version. I'm a really big fan of the snippets, although the SFTP client has a long way to go before it's actually viable compared to some of the other apps that I use, which I will eventually do a video on. For the monthly cost of $10 a month, I'm going to have to pass just because the snippets aren't really enough for me to upgrade on that. Next, we'll be looking at Blink Shell for a small payment of 20 bucks one time. You unlock a really versatile app that does a lot of things that Termius doesn't, with one of the features being the ability to use an external display as a separate 4K terminal. So opening this up, compared to the previous app, Blink doesn't have a user interface off the bat, and it resembles more of a traditional terminal window. Pressing Command, you'll find that there are a lot more keyboard shortcuts. So in this case, we're going to hit Command Comma to open up Settings. Uh, we're going to look at generating a new key, and we'll do Demo Dash Key. Now that we generated the demo key, Opening it up, you will see that you have the ability to not only copy the public key, but also the private key. This allows you to export these keys into other apps, such as SFTP apps, which I'll be covering in a later video. So for now, we're going to copy the public key, go into Termius. and paste that in there. Now I'm not really a fan because there's no response knowing if I copied the key into my clipboard. So it'd be nice to actually add something like that into there. Now that we added the key into our server, we're gonna go ahead and create the host. In this case, that, and for the key, demo. And we should be good to go. Now, the beauty of this app is it allows you to kind of auto-complete and tells you what to type. And just like that, we are logged in here. And we can run updates, you name it. Opening settings back up, we can adjust the appearance, including colors, fonts, font size, keyboard, light or dark and external display settings going back. Keyboard allows you to, oh, look at that, that notification. I'm paying for the, or I'm trying the trial version and it seems that it actually still doesn't run in the background. Anyways, going back to keyboards, you can map modifiers, special keys, other features include iCloud Sync, which I'm a bigger fan of having my data stored in the iCloud rather than a third party cloud. Auto Lock, which after 10 minutes in background requires passcode or touch ID, which I imagine it works with face ID as well. And one of my favorite features of this app Currently, it's broken. I'm currently running 13.1.2, but URL callbacks. Now, obviously, I'm going to be changing this after this video, 
but this is huge. This allows you to integrate with Siri shortcuts and execute commands uh, directly from Siri shortcuts. After reviewing both these apps, my go-to app is actually Blink for a one-time payment. You get a really versatile yet simple app that allows you to copy both public and private keys relatively easy. In the future, I do plan to do some videos on SFTP clients as well as photo and video editing apps. So like and subscribe if you're interested in that. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Have a great day.